What's up Pisces? This is going to be a love forecast for the second half of March. This is for my Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share. It does help out my channel. If you're new here, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings. All the info for that's in the description box of the video. Um, there is a bit of a wait for a reading with me. So if you ever want to explore your options, I put a link to Mystic Sense in the description box as well, which is a great company that will offer you access to lots of brilliant psychics and readers located all over the world. And if you go through the link I've provided, they're going to give you your first five minute reading free. So check them out if you feel called to do so. And otherwise, if you want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I put the links to those in the description box as well. So Pisces, I'm going to do a person on your mind. How do they feel about you? Then how do you feel about them? Then the projected outcomes for the um, second half of March. Bearing in mind, guys, outcomes can do, will shift for you depending on your actions, inactions, your reactions, your energy, your assumptions, which are connected to your core beliefs, subconscious or conscious. Now, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, please do go and look into the law of assumption. Everything that's going on on the outside is a reflection of state. It's shiftable, it's changeable. This is a reading based on one timeline and one version of a connection and self that you're selecting out of infinite that are available. Um, so everything can be changed and you can manifest anything you desire. Okay, all right, Pisces. So tell me how this person's feeling about Pisces. Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords, Justice card. Someone feels, um, Pisces, that there's something that needs to be made right or balanced out. And there could be an iciness. <laughs> something about needing to um, have a conversation or speak a truth and there's hurt feelings. Three of Swords. So either you're in separation from this person or things have gone maybe a bit cold or there's a feeling of a truth that needs to be spoken. Okay, King of Wands is in the reverse. The Nine of Pentacles is in the upright. The Four of Cups, a lot of emotional rejection issues coming up or, or disappointment here. How's this person feeling about you, Pisces? I don't know. We've got King of Wands in the reverse, which is the Shadow King. So it seems to be that there's chemistry and attraction with this person. But maybe, you know, Shadow King of Wands is an overemphasis on... Um, <laughs> that aspect and four of cups in terms of emotion it's like emotion not much happening in the heart space okay so either this person Pisces feels like what they're offering you you're not taking and it's causing a rejection wound or it's triggering a rejection or you know maybe that's how they're showing up for you or it's mirroring it's mutual I don't know I mean I've got nine of pentacles here so you're not committed to this person there's a sense of being Avail, you know, this is single energy, so this could be some kind of a, I don't know, a hookup or something like that. Or you've got the Five of Swords in the reverse um, with the Six of Cups in the reverse. So, Pisces, um, this person is not sure. The Six of Cups in the reverse would be about, you know, can this be reconciled? Can this not be reconciled? There, there seems to have been some clashing or some conflict between you and this person. They want to get past that. Maybe they're not sure if what they're going to offer you, you're going to take. If they're a person that, you know, if there's tension, they're not sure whether to come forward and and offer, you know, a reconciliation. Maybe they're waiting for you to do that. I don't know. Let me have a look at this Four of Cups, Pisces. Let me see. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. So there's been a disconnect. There's a feeling left out in the cold and then the Ace of Cups in the reverse. It's like the love feels very lost and things are at a rest state, Four of Swords. Um, let me have a look. Yeah, hanged man. There you are, Pisces. So things are on pause. Um, something needs to be healed or reconciled, but it's like this person seems to be not moving towards you. Either they're waiting for you to move towards them, or it's just that things have just stopped for us. Or maybe this person's also processing something like a clash between you and them. I also feel like there's some kind of a rejection wound here that is being processed, and it could be to do with childhood stuff or the past that might be unrelated to you, Pisces. I mean, I've got 10 of cups here, so that can be family stuff that's going on. Um, you know, Pisces, it's also like maybe this person does on one hand see you as potential for like the future, Ten of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. I mean, that's like commitment, loyalty, etc. But then there seems to be a clash, Five of Wands and Two of Pentacles weighing up options back and forth. So again, either Pisces, this person's feeling some level of um, 
like they've disappointed you by not offering you more or they feel disappointed that you have not, you know, committed to them in some way. For some of you, you're dealing with some kind of a multi-party situation where someone's in a commitment and therefore there's back and forth and it's been more about chemistry than anything else. I'm not judging guys if that's your situation, but I have to like call it out, like whatever comes through, whatever they're giving me. But there's been a clash. There's a sense of trying to compete. Maybe this person feels like they have to compete for your attention or they, there's some other person in the mix here that gets the commitment and this is more about passion or um, there's just clashing of, you know, are we committing or are we not committing? Are we staying single or are we not staying single? I mean, it's like there's tension here. I mean, the Ten of Cups, there's a rejection wound as well. So again, that could also be what's causing this commit or don't commit, right? Like um, that could be someone that's not really opening up their heart and being more about a king of wands is in the reverse, which can be shadow king energy, overemphasis on like the attraction and the chemistry, but not so much on, you know, stability or like ace of cards. I mean, maybe there was a feeling of love, but it seems to be at least this person's feeling like maybe the love is lost. I mean, there's burdens here. It's weighing heavy on them and they're not really sure about the direction forward. Um, Page of Swords is analysis energy. So, and this is also communication. So for some of you, this is about wanting to communicate. So maybe you will get a reach out. This is also about watching, spying. So maybe that's the case between you and this person. Maybe they watch you online or there's something like that. But the Seven of Swords in the reverse, this is something to do with like caught out or called out Pisces. So it's, something, it's like possible that there's been a clash and a disappointment in relation to feeling like other energies are in the mix or feeling juggled or feeling like not chosen or not committed to in some kind of a way on your end, on their end, on both ends. For some of you, you're both single and you've been keeping your options open and there's like this mutual disappointment. I mean, I'm going to get your cards, Pisces, but like the world card, on one hand, they, they want like accomplishment. They want to close out an old cycle. They're not sure that this is going to happen. Maybe they're waiting for you to see, maybe they're trying to see where you're at. It's a very weird read Pisces and I'm sorry for that. And I'm sorry if it's um, not for you, if you're listening and you don't want it. Um, <laughs> you know, I've got five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You and this person both have five of pentacles. So how are you feeling about this person? Disconnected, left out in the cold, disappointed, 10 of wands, burdened weighing heavy so you both have that 10 of wands so this could be like i said a, a very mutual feeling between you and this person so pisces for those of you for whom this is and you want it to be different if you want this person you want to shift this situation then i direct you to the law of assumption there you are pisces as i split the deck high priestess so you could actually be in silence with this person or there could be secrets or an element of things that have gone unsaid um it's also an intuitive bond so maybe you do feel an intuitive bond with this person. Um, lover's card, as I said that, as I split the deck. So Pisces, you feel um, you feel a strong connection with this person with the lover's card. That's soulmate, contracts, but it is about choices. And then I just saw Knight of Wands. So a lot of passion for this person, but maybe it's been in and out. Um, and then I've got three of cups. So some of you feel this person, three of cups, has other options or is out and about, or this has been stop, start, or Pisces. Like I said, maybe that's you. Maybe that's both of you. Let's have a look. Seven of swords, Pisces. So how do you feel about this person? There's trust issues going on here. You've got seven of swords in the upright. They've got a seven of swords in the reverse with the page of swords. So someone here feels like They've caught the other one out in some way or been called out in some kind of a way. If not, guys, if this isn't like cheating and lying and all that stuff, it doesn't have to go to the extreme. There's a real energy of like avoidance. And I saw that with that high priestess and this four of cups. This could literally just be a case of like withholding emotion from one another in a big way. And so it could be a bit of this tit for tat game that causes like mutual rejection a feeling of mutual rejection, you know, two of pentacles back and forth, clashing. Maybe you play a game with one another where you feel like you want to make the other one 
compete for attention. I know, it's, again, guys, please, um, I'm not like wanting to um, pour shit on anyone, um, but it could be like a bit immature, or in, childish games, okay? Queen of Cups is in the reverse. Then you've got the Ten of Wands in the reverse. There's a Ten of Swords, and then there's a Five of Cups in the reverse. With a Nine of Pentacles, you both have Nine of Pentacles. So you're both kind of being self-focused or there's issues to do with being completely available. For those of you who have a story where there's still stuff going on um, with another person, there's issues to being available. But most of you, I think that this is like an, a, a situation that involves two people that um, are uncommitted to one another, but there's been passion um, and there's trust issues. And I've got a queen of cups in the reverse here. So you aren't necessarily trusting this love from this person or this is you feeling like you want to withdraw your love or feeling sorry Pisces um like what you're giving is not being taken do you understand what I'm getting Pisces it's like there's a feeling of rejection here you've got magician card so there's a sense of like manifesting it I mean some of you are just very focused on manifesting for your career magician card nine of pentacles and then there's there's pain here ten of swords so something has gone on between you and this person that's caused pain and trust issues. Okay. Um, and the Ten of Swords is betrayal. So for some of you, that really is the thing. And for others of you, you know, this is old cycles, um, like maybe old relationship pain. Because Five of Cups here is always crying over spilt milk and like old losses. So maybe you're trying to release that. And that's what's been weighing heavy and, and there's this been this sense of like a lot of projecting, you know, not maybe not wanting to open your heart, Pisces, with that Queen of Cups in the reverse. Um, and then on the flip side of that, Pisces, if you have certain like fears and assumptions about love or how you see yourself in relation to people that you're interested in, they're going to show up in a certain type of a way. So that's why I'm saying just for those of you that do want this person and you want to shift things, you can have it differently. You don't have to wait for the mirror to change. There's another version of this, but there's CC like maybe some shadow element to this going on. Unhealed wounds um, or some game playing or some pettiness or something. Let's look at that magician card, 10 of cups. I mean, Pisces, you both have 10 of cups. So like, it's like you both, first of all, you both might have family stuff that you're trying to process, like old wounds, 10 of swords, 10 of cups you've got here. But actually also what I'm seeing with the manifesting, like you are trying to manifest the happily ever after the future. So maybe there's an element of you thinking that maybe this is your future happiness. Eight of wands, two of pentacles. And you do want to communicate with this person, but there's the two of pentacles back and forth, back and forth. So either you're weighing your options. Maybe you're not sure if this would be your happily ever after. Maybe you're exploring other options. And again, that could be, both sides of you doing that um and then that's causing mutual distrust it's like you got to decide what you want pisces you can have anything you want in the end of the day okay um so but for those of you that feel like it's just this person and they're not deciding well you can actually have them decide or otherwise um pisces if you if you're not sure about them and you you've got another option then you can also decide on another option but all it just looks to me like there's a lot of back and forth, back and forth here. So it's um, a bit confusing. But anyway, two of pentacles, there's an eight of wands, and then there's stress, nine of swords about the way forward. I've got two queens on the table. Some of you, it's like there is this kind of element of um, like there could be a feeling of competition going on. Um, or there's stress because there's been harsh energy in the past. And so this is discernment, you know, so maybe you're a bit like back and forth about whether or not this is something that will make you happy because the mirror could be kind of morphing into the monster. This could be showing up like, you know, there's a feeling of rejection or something like that going on. I mean, Queen of Swords can be harsh and cold. So maybe this person is showing up that way. Or maybe this is how you're kind of reacting to the circumstances and situation, the, the mirror. And so then it's just getting ping ponged back and forth. I hope it's making sense, Pisces. I mean, I've got King of Wands in the upright. So King of Wands in the upright, King of Wands in the reverse. Attraction, attraction. But someone feels the other one is like really showing up more in that shadow King of Wands energy. 
um, like more focused on the sex than they are on the love. And so that's either this person feels that's you, so they're, they're acting some kind of a way, um, or you feel that that's them and you're acting some kind of a way. And then the consequence of that is a lot of this may be cycles um, and feeling left out in the cold. You both feel left out in the cold and you both are thinking about ten of cups, like the future and happiness. So it's, it's erratic Pisces. And then you've got the hermit card. There's been like withdrawal, but then you want to talk eight of wands. And the moon card is shadow stuff. And then we've got Queen of Pentacles again. So there's see, there's an element of secrecy, lack of clarity when it comes to commitment, loyalty. For the small portion of you, there's still unfinished stuff connected to like a third party commitment. For, for most of you, I think this is just like fears and shadow stuff around committing because of old wounding, family wounding, relationship wounding, spilt cups. And there's been erratic behavior, trust issues, and maybe some mutual tit for tat kind of behavior. Okay, Pisces, sorry. I'm sorry, Pisces, it's not the most like positive read, but as I said to you, you know, you guys like everything, there's nothing to change but self. So if you did want this to change, then you can change it. So, or you can take the, what's being mirrored to you and um, change the belief. Like if you're being triggered by this and you're looking at what you want to change within self to actually manifest or rather select a better version of a connection moving forward and will make sense when you look into the law. Um, lots of trust issues here. I just want to see what does this person want with Pisces? It says in the moment, becoming aware today in the now. So maybe there's a level of like awareness around some stuff. This person's trying to work through, um, extreme harshness, erratic. There's been like very, I said erratic, like harshness, erratic behavior, soulmates, the one deep love, spiritual connection, life partner. I mean, you both have that 10 of cups. So this person does see you like the one. 10 of cups is the one, you know, but then we've got emotions, unpredictable, in and out, like waves. Illuminate, revealing the truth, confession, shedding light. So either like something has been exposed or revealed and it's upset, it's upset the situation or there's been a lot of concealing and things have not been clear and something needs to be talked out, okay, in order to move forward. Mask, pretending, not upfront. Toxic, unhealthy. <sighs> Pisces, there's been a lot of concealing. There's been a lot of putting up a front. Putting up a front. On the less extreme version, guys, it's like ego meets ego, you know, putting up a front, not showing true feelings like avoidance that kind of a thing. And I'm not naming names or blaming or anything. It's possible you feel that this is how this person's showing up. They might feel like this is how you're showing up. I, as I said, it could be a tip for tat thing. Toxic, nasty behaviors, unhealthy, poisons. I don't know. Someone might also be into drinking or partying with that toxic. But then I've got muse, emotional bond inspired by you, listening to music, song lyrics. So what are they going to do? There's the harshness, erratic, cutting off. You know, possible Pisces, this person, you know, coming off the dynamic between the two of you isn't making any move. Now, again, guys, you can change and affirm anything you want. If you want this person to, if you want text message, if you want a person to come and, and like grovel, if you want a person to commit to you, if you want a person to be however you want, you can go and affirm for it. Go and look into the law of assumption. Look at Sammy Unger and Dylan James, any of those guys, they will explain it to you. But you know, you don't want to go into old cycles. So there's something here that needs to be shifted and it's the focus needs to be on self and the state that you're in and your self-concept and then how you see yourself in relation to that person and selecting a new version of this whole connection. There's like love and the one, and then there's a lot of this erratic behavior and um, not just not trusting one another, putting up a front two face. Um, sorry, Pisces. Um, I don't mean to have given you such a difficult read. Um, healing family issues. That's what I said. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, separation, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This is confirming everything that I've already said. 
Um, you don't need to be concerned, for those of you that want this, you don't need to be concerned that this person, are they going to heal? You are, so there's nothing to change but self and in your reality, again, I'm not reading like other readers, so incorporating the law of assumption, you're the God of your reality, okay? So this person is a version that you selected to, a mirror to you. So they're you pushed out. So all you need to be concerned with is changing your self-concept. So what's being revealed to you, healing fam family issues, there's certain belief systems or be uh, limiting beliefs and self-concept issues. If you change that, then you can see yourself as safe. There's a rejection wound here. You're not feeling lovable, chosen, worthy, something like that. If you change that, it's very easy then to select the version of the person that mirrors that back to you or you get that. Um, yeah, so check out the law. Trust and there's trust issues. This situation is calling for you to have faith and I have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime with passion, soulmate. Then I have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So this could be, you know, old relationship baggage. And now if we've got family issues or self-concept issues or stuff from the past, limiting beliefs, then we go on and have certain toxic relationships. Then we have certain assumptions about everyone that comes along and then we have repeat cycles, right? So Pisces, the thing is, is like, this is the law of assumption. Whether you want this person or don't want this person, if we get upset and say it's the mirror, oh no, another one, oh, they're acting this way. It's just like the X, right? If you look into the law of assumption, the repetition is happening, not because it's like you have bad luck and the same person keeps showing up. It's the mirror morphing into whatever your assumptions are and your beliefs are. So that might be controversial guys, but that's the way that I read. Um, let me just get you a messages of love oracle card on this connection and where it's at right now. Let's see, it's, ooh, self-care, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. So there's something about needing to focus on self-care and that might be the healing stuff that's going on Pisces. Second chance, this relationship deserves a second chance. Apology, something about apology, forgiveness. Yeah, some, something has gone on here that's like really um, caused trust issues. Finances, financial challenges are affecting this connection. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. And you both have Five of Pentacles. So actually both of you might be like very focused on career and money. Um, and there might be issues in that department. And then one more. Okay, time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. So we had that separation thing. Um, but then we have the soulmate, the passion. So guys, I don't believe in divine timing and all of that. In the end of the day, this is still you pushed out. So it's the version that you're selecting. You're just going to need to decide. Maybe you need time apart from this person to get some clarity and then you can affirm it differently um, or shift it differently or gain the perspective that you want around this entire situation, but then break maybe a cycle and create something new for yourself or select a new um, person, manifest a new person, something like that. All right, Pisces, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I will check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.